Hello YouTube, this is Gokster. What am I going to do after my death? I plan to do this video only next week, but a YouTube friend posted today a video about this topic and this is actually a cause I defend very much. So I am dead. My brain functions are stopped. My big hope now is that someone looks in my wallet and finds this card. This card is attached to my identity card. It's my organ donor card. On this card I explain that I refuse every life prolonging actions if there is no further chance to have a self-determined life. I give the medical staff all right to take all my organs for transplantation. Uh, certainly I must also write a little warning on my card that my liver would probably have problems to work without a decent daily dose of alcohol and my lungs will have a problem without cigarettes. So please tell the receiver if he is a non-smoker to begin with it. Uh, the rest of my body can be given to a medical university for students to train and become better doctors. I am not more my body. Uh, the I, the myself, is gone. At the moment, my brain stopped working. So, dear Mr. Corona, if you are a little necrophile pervert, do with my body whatever you want. It's not me anymore. Take your chance if you like to enjoy a 50, 60, 70 or 80 year old virgin asshole. So, Let's make a chain about what you decide to do after your death. I want to know your opinion and I'm going to tag some of my YouTube friends to post an answer. I really want their opinion and to help to grow the awareness. So I tag uh, Rosbush, uh, the other side 100 and Atheist Ossi. Thank you. Now I give some arguments why you should do it. The first is human traffic. A lot is discussed on my subscribe channels about human traffic and sex workers, but in many poor countries the organ traffic is a very big mafia business. People are actually killed to furnish the existent organ market. Uh, down here a link to uh, Wikipedia, there you can find uh, some other links uh, if you want to go more uh, uh, in this uh, kind of information. Second, every country has uh, different legislation about organ donations. Uh, just an example about two countries I know the legislation. In Germany you have to give the right in a living will to show that you are donor. In Austria is a given and you have in the living will to show that you don't agree to be a donor. I like this better. Do you know what is the legislation of your country? Third, the countries which import most of illegal organs are the countries who are the most religious. People have no problems by accepting an organ when they need it, but want to keep their own body untouched until the resurrection from body and soul. Four, I want to say, apart uh, from the religious argument, there are no logic arguments who can't be debunked. Maybe in the comment on this video uh, some of these arguments will show up. I have an answer to most of them. 
The video from Dangerously Talented about this is in the below bar. I'm happy if you recommend my channel, please rate, leave your comment and subscribe. And don't irony if you don't want to have a sarcasm. Ciao.